don't have a heavy kettlebell to do heavy get-ups with, don't fret. I have an option that you can use a lighter kettlebell with that will work every bit as good, maybe even better, and uh, will make your lighter kettlebell feel like a heavy kettlebell. Trust me. Follow along. Okay, here we go. Get up. Wow, maybe I'm not so good. Here we go. There's my get up. When I get to the top of the get up, I'm going to do two windmills. Okay. Now two overhead squats. I know this looks a lot like the last chapter of Extreme One. Oh, one. Two. Now I'm going to bring the kettlebell down and I'm going to do an exercise called the bent press. So I'm going to get that kettlebell back on my hip. Get tight in the core. Oh. Try one more. That's starting to feel heavy. Let's come down. Let's try it on this side, just to recap. Now, if you have a lighter kettlebell, feel free to do more of each rep of the windmills or the overhead squats. Depending, if you only have a 16, maybe you want to do five of each. It all depends where you're at in your strength and fitness journey. All right, here we go. Windmills, tense those abs, get that hip out. There's one, two, overheads, bring it down, bent press, here we go, one more, come on. Okay, now let's get down. Oh yeah, that. And that gives me practically the same feeling that I get with heavy get-ups. Because what I'm trying to do, again, is increase the time under tension so that I'm getting that shoulder capsule warmed up and all these different ranges of motion with a load on it to keep my shoulders healthy.